Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to give you a quick update. So, I bought the Vanity Planet. They call it the SA. And it's a ultrasonic scrubber. As you can see, the price. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond two weeks ago before they went out of business. So, because they're out of business, I can't get the actual cord for this thing. So here's here's what came in the box, okay? So in the box came this plastic insert thing, okay? And inside that was their product. And on top of that was... A book. So tell me guys how am I supposed to charge this? <laughs> That's not the half of it. So since Bed Bath & Beyond is going out of business you can't contact them. So I decide to contact Vanity Planet, the maker. Okay? <laughs> they give me the biggest cockamamie bullshit story in God's creation. They tell me that they cannot sell me, not give me. Hi, Brother Marquis. They can't sell me the adapter. So basically, I paid. $59.99 for a piece of shit product from the company. Now, I asked them nicely, and this has been going on for quite a while now, and I'm not impressed by the company. Now I understand why nobody knows about this company. I don't even know about this company. So, May 6th, after I decided to open it and use it because it has some charge and figure out what the heck was going on with it, I email them at 748 at night and I tell them you know, my email address and in the subject I put the SEO Ultrasonic Exfoliating Skin Spatula because that's what this is. And I said, I bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond. However, <laughs> there's no charging cord for it. None. And the screwed up thing was, is it was sealed. Okay. So I asked them, how do I get a, <coughs> a cord for charging it? I get the auto reply at 7.48.49 p.m. The thanks for your email. The, this is to confirm that we received it from the Vanity Planet Consumer Support member will assist you shortly. Yesterday at 5.57 p.m. it says, hi, Sheila, thanks for reaching out. We're sorry to know your order regarding the missing parts of your product, you need to contact the store directly so they can further assist you. What part of Bed Bath & Beyond is closed in Rochester, South Minnesota? Don't you get, they went bankrupt. They're closing all their stores. All sales are final. This is your product. I'm not asking you to give it to me for free. I'm asking you how much it will cost to buy the stupid cord. So, again, they confirm the email. Can you send us a picture that shows the item included with the product that you purchased it? I sent the pictures of it. Now they want my damn receipt. Well, I hate to tell you, but when I buy stuff, 
that ain't happening. Cause I throw it because I throw it out. You're gonna tell me that you're not gonna send you're not gonna sell me the cord. Oh, we can we, you know it we can replace it. No. I want you to sell me the cord. So again. Well, we can help you because we don't sell just that. Look, I don't, you must think I'm just some regular idiot consumer that doesn't know anything. But I hate to tell you, sweetheart, I damn well know it. And you act like I'm asking you to give me the cord. <laughs> First of all, I don't have to produce a receipt for any company when I buy stuff because it may be your product, but it I now own it because it's in my possession because I bought it. And because the store is down uh, and it's your product, you are held liable for your product. Now, I've asked nicely quite a few times in my email. And this is where... I get pissy, okay? Because now you're lying because every product in the world has replacement parts. If they didn't, you wouldn't be able to sell it in the United States. That's your first mistake. Two, your second mistake is trying to apologize to me uh, <laughs> thinking that I wanted it for free. <clears throat> well, this kind of issue needs to be fixed by the store where you purchased it. If you purchased it directly from us and there was a missing cord, then we can assist you to have a replacement. No, you can assist me completely because I told you that I didn't want it for free. So what don't you get? This is your product, Vanity Planet. I don't know how many people know about you, but obviously not a lot. If you're going to give them that kind of damn nonsense for 60 bucks. <laughs> You must think I'm an idiot. I've been doing reviews since 96. But I hate when a company gets too big for their own bridges. Okay? And I'm saying nobody knows about you because nobody in the real world has ever heard about you. As far as everybody is concerned that I've asked, nobody knows you. Nobody outside the internet knows you. So who are you? And you don't have replacement parts. So you're trying to tell me you're scamming people if it doesn't have anything in it and that you're not responsible for it because Bed Bath & Beyond sold your product, your product, not their product, doesn't have their name on it, has yours. And... You're telling me that you're not at liberty to sell me a power cord for your product that I purchased with, and here's the kicker, my disability, which means you're stealing from somebody who's disabled. Good job. Unbelievable. You know, <laughs> you do realize it's federally illegal to steal from somebody who is on disability, right? Federally illegal, not state, not local. It is federally illegal. And all I asked you for was how much is the cord? You don't know because you don't sell it separately? Or you're not at liberty to sell it separately, or you just think I'm a piece of shit. Mm. Wondering. Mm. Mm. Hi, Grandma Lynn. Hey, young man, I see you squirrels. <laughs> well, that any planet. In case anybody's wondering. Yeah, no, it's backwards. Just like they are. <laughs> mm. huh. Great piece of junk. Good job. 
And the funny thing was, is before, before I messaged this company, product, and thanks, Gremlin. I actually, <laughs> I actually liked the product until I got it near my lips, because, yeah. It made them really dry. So, yeah. But, you know, there are tons of other companies that sell a product like this <laughs> for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And it comes with the charging port. Well, not the charging port. Char it's the cord. So, you're telling me that... If somebody buys something from a retailer, well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure. You can't get the cord because Vanity Planet is saying that they're not responsible for it. You should go back to the retailers. So since Bed Bath & Beyond went bankrupt and they're closed, I'm going to pull it out of thin air. Basically, they're telling me to pull it out of my ass. Do you see a Better Business Bureau complaint coming? <laughs> I do. <laughs> and see, I was nice and tried to contact them on Twitter. Because this is just complete garbage. And they know, they know I was going to go live. They know I was going to go live. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, they messed with the wrong sky. And I'm going to tell you. I'm leaving this up. I don't give a shit. Oh, and for those of you who are just here, hi. I'm Lady Dark Sky. Welcome back to my channel. Some of you might know me from email as Sheila Jaworski. I am Lady Dark Sky. <laughs> and no, I don't tell companies who I am. <laughs> I am very polite in emails. I think starting to think that that's my problem because I get kicked around and tossed around and thrown around and, you know, it's like, oh, she's nothing. She's just a customer, whatever. But I figured I'd let you know. Hey, here's Vanity Planets. Pfft, garbage. Do not buy this product. The company will not back their own product. They will not sell you. <clears throat> they will not sell you a power cord. Uh, supposedly, this is supposed to come with little spongy things that go over this tip, which pff, didn't come with those either. But I'm not complaining about those. All I wanted was the power cord to recharge it. And I was willing to pay. Duh, fuck. But yeah, so, yeah. Like I said, Vanity Planet, the essay spatula. No. If you see this in stores, especially stores, I'm not sure if Target sells it, but um, I got mine from Bed Bath & Beyond. I always wanted one. I saw it there, picked it up. No power cord, can't buy it. Company doesn't care about the customers and they don't back their product. So if they're not going to back their product, don't waste your money. Okay. Yeah, just, I was going to say it was a good product because it worked like it's supposed to, but what the hell good is a product like this if you're not going to back it? You know, power cords fray and you know stuff like that and they break and we all have kids well I don't have kids personally because all of mine are grown up but you know they pull on wires and stuff so obviously this company doesn't give a shit about the product it's garbage and once you buy it and it, if you don't have a power cord or your power cord gets shot you know it's your piece of garbage along with the product so yeah don't it don't even waste your hard-earned money or your disability on it because 
honestly, if they're not going to back their product, it's just not worth it. Okay. With that said, I'm going to get off of here, but I wanted to give you guys a warning because yeah, this has been since Saturday with this company when I first emailed them and isn't going to back their product. Then I just wasted $60. They took advantage of me. You know, they're out of California and they just don't care. So, you know, blessings to everybody. Love you all. Please be good to each other. Don't waste your money. Save your money. You're going to need it. Stock up on the food you need. And um, hopefully this company will get it together instead of um, gaslighting me and blowing smoke up my ass. I highly doubt it. But hey, i got to be positive, right? Be good to each other. Read your Bible. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.